you're okay. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Phil Waybright Gymnasium. We are having some technical issues uh, with trying to get onto the server, uh, but we are here to bring you the Argus against Oregon Davis boys game tonight. Uh, my name is Phil Dean, and I have Carly Miller, who is brand new on the camera. A little bit nervous. Um, I do apologize. Our normal. Our normal uh, announcer uh, decided to get sick tonight, so he is not able to uh, uh, be here tonight. So I do apologize, you're, you're stuck with me. Um, but we are uh, almost done with the first quarter of the, uh, the game, and the Argus boys are up uh, 12 to six. We do have an Oregon Davis foul there. Michael Richards will be throwing the ball in. Gives it to J.J. Morris and puts it up for two. Trying for the long shot and off the backboard. That's it for the first quarter. Again, I do apologize for uh, the technical difficulties here um, that we are that we were having, and uh, we are going to try to bring you all of the rest of the home games for the rest of the basketball season. However, though, we will not be here for next week's by county. Uh, the WHME is going to be broadcasting the bi-county games, so we're gonna go ahead and let them uh, take care of those, and then we will be back uh, um, after after the bi-county is over with. Um, trying to get Lori Manikowski to, to broadcast with us. Carly, you wanna say hi to everybody? I suppose, hello well, everyone. She's a little nervous about talking, so she's kinda listening for the first uh, first half, and then we'll see about the second half. It'll be all right. We got this.
Right now at the end of the first quarter or going into the second quarter, Argus is up 14 to 6. Carly, you're going to have to help me. But we have J.J. Morris across the way. Michael Richards, number three. Yep. And then uh, Ted Redinger, or Teddy Redinger, there, number 32, and Killen Dig, Ken Dig out there. And it looks like uh, Sean Richards out there as well. Correct, number 33. Okay, Ted passes it off to Michael and into J.J. And J.J. draws the foul. Number 12, Oregon Davis. Now, I do realize that we uh, are an Argus uh, affiliate uh, broadcast here. However, though, my nephew does play for Oregon Davis, so you may hear me say some good things about Cameron out there. Cameron is bringing it down the court there. Dylan kind of guarding him pretty good. Stolen by Michael Richards. Bringing it down across the timeline to Redinger. Redinger for three. Oregon Davis bringing it down. Off recovered by Sean Richards. Michael Richards bringing it down. J.J. Morris driving and getting, getting fouled in the process. Throwing to JJ. Oregon Davis got her arm in there. Ball loose, and Oregon Davis came up with it. Number 40 for Oregon Davis for two. Michael for three, and it's good. Michael Richards with the steal. Oregon Davis with the rebound. Cameron for three. Off the rim, out of bounds. OD ball. I think that's Dylan Baum getting ready to throw it in. Carly, that was that name that we couldn't figure out. <laughs> Get two subs in for Argus. Number 25, Eli Osborne, and number 23, Luke Stoltz. See, I'm glad you're here.
Richards for three, off the back of the rim. OD recovers. Good for two. Did you see Dylan kind of came in and he stopped real quick. <laughs> yeah. Oregon Davis with the steal. Cameron Taylor up for the easy layup. Dylan Kindig for three. Three minutes, 30 seconds left, and Argus is up 22 to 12. <coughs> Dylan for another three. three. Both teams were calling it was theirs. <laughs> Argus girls played here last night against Oregon Davis. And they came out victorious with a score of 46 to 40. And I was really kind of shocked Oregon Davis didn't really come out and play their their normal game until the second half. Second half they came out and started to do the full court press and the, the trapping. Cross court, stolen by Sean Richards. Up for the easy layup. trying to pass the ball around. Trying to get somebody in on the inside. Cameron Taylor up for two. Oh, Michael Richards threw it away. And a block by JJ. I think that's Connor Danford that came up with the ball after the block. Playing pretty tight defense on the OD boys. I know Oregon Davis has always been a rivalry game for both boys and girls. Sorry about that. We had a couple questions on uh, of the uh, why it's not actually live. And again, it's because uh, for some reason our computer would not connect to the server, so we are recording this to put it on later. Oregon Davis with the near with the near throwaway. And 
cross back and up for two. Michael Rich is coming down to the. Try to get a last second shot here. Up for three, off the rim. We're going into halftime. Argus is up 28 to 16. We're gonna go ahead and play some commercials and then we'll come back for the third quarter. Feeling overwhelmed about choosing a new tire for your vehicle? Let the tire store help take the pressure off you by providing the tires you need at an affordable price. Located off of State Road 14 in Rochester, the tire store prides itself by not only being your number one in tire selection, but also your go-to for any auto repair need. Call today at 574-224-8473 or visit online at www.thetirestorerochester.com. RTC TV4 is proud to present the RTC TV4 Sports app. Now you can watch your favorite games and events from our local school partners live and on demand through your smart devices. And best of all, it's free! There's no cost to download or to watch. Just search RTC TV4 Sports on the Google Play Store, App Store, or on Roku, and download now to start watching the local coverage you enjoy. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service for their clients, presently and for the future. From estate planning and trust, to adoption and family law, to appeals, probate, and more, Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins has the knowledge and experience to serve you now and in the future. See a full list of services online at petersonwagoner.com. At First Federal Savings Bank, we have many valuable services for you. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial loans and business checking accounts for all your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. RTC Fiber Communications knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact RTC Fiber Communications. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. You won this year's chili cook-off. Our girls played in the softball finals last spring. You're not just another policyholder to us. We remember your name. Hi, Cheryl. He remembered my name. Because it's your name. That's simple human sense. Ask the Jennings Insurance Agency in Argus and Rochester if auto owners make sense for you. Jeff, Mary, Dan, Sarah. Nutrien Ag Solutions is the world's largest company for crop inputs with more than 1,000 global locations. Nutrien Ag Solutions strive to help growers achieve the highest yields with the most sustainable solutions possible. Stop by their local location just east of Fulton or call at 574-857-3555 or visit online at www.nutrienagsolutions.com to see how Nutrien can help you. Are you in need of a great insurance plan? Let Evans Agency help you with plans covering home, vehicle, life, business, farm, health, and senior insurance. With over 16 years of experience, Evans Agency will be sure to match you with the perfect plan. Visit them at www.evansagencyrochester.com 
or call today at 574-224-6988 for a free quote. Crest Senior Living Community knows winter can be tough to manage. Maintaining your heating system, clearing sidewalks, and getting to appointments are all challenges this time of year. Timbercrest can help by offering a winter stay in our beautiful manor apartments. Engaging activities, restaurant-style dining, support services, and transportation are all available. If the thought of winter and all that comes with it sounds daunting, plan a visit with us today. We'll share the wonders of Timbercrest, North Manchester, Indiana. Buying your first home can be a nerve-wracking experience, but with the help of our mortgage experts, you have no need to worry. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy working with first-time home buyers and purchasing their first home. Our premier first-time home buyer loan program includes no PMI and only as little as a 5% down payment is required. Talk with one of our mortgage experts and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. RTC TV4 is proud to present the RTC TV4 Sports app. Now you can watch your favorite games and events from our local school partners live and on demand through your smart devices. And best of all, it's free! There's no cost to download or to watch. Just search RTC TV4 Sports on the Google Play Store, App Store, or on Roku and download now to start watching the local coverage you enjoy. Timbercrest Senior Living Community knows winter can be tough to manage. Maintaining your heating system, clearing sidewalks, and getting to appointments are all challenges this time of year. Timbercrest can help by offering a winter stay in our beautiful manor apartments. Engaging activities, restaurant-style dining, support services, and transportation are all available. If the thought of winter and all that comes with it sounds daunting, plan a visit with us today. We'll share the wonders of Timbercrest, North Manchester, Indiana. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your sport and school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Call 574-223-6090 or visit their website at www.thewinningedgeathletics.com. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 90 years, we've been dedicated to developing personal relationships in all the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today, online at csbnetbank.com. RTC Fiber Communications knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact RTC Fiber Communications, connect to the internet speed that suits your journey, and enjoy the ride. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! in need of a great insurance plan? Let Evans Agency help you with plans covering all. And we are back. We have about 30 seconds left, 40 seconds left before the start of the second half. 
Again, I do apologize for the late start as we were having some technical difficulties uh, trying to connect to the server. We will be back here again tomorrow uh, for the girls uh, varsity game against Pioneer. The JV half starts at one. Uh, we'll be broadcasting the uh, varsity game, which will take place about 20 minutes after the JV half. Start of the second half, looks like we've got J.J. Morris out there, Michael Richards, Teddy Redinger, uh, Dylan Kindig, and Sean Richards. Carly, you got to remember, all my kids have been out of school for a while. <laughs> That's true. So for me to know any of these kids' names is good. Cameron with the drive, swatted away. There's a jump ball called, Oregon Davis ball. Oh no, Argus ball. Switch it up. Richards bringing it down court. Top of the key. Oregon Davis got a hand in there. I thought he I thought he were calling him for a travel. Nope. <laughs> Number twenty two gonna be Connor Danford. Argus tried to get it in there and OD was able to uh, get a hand on it and push it right back out. Almost another hand on there by that Dylan Baum. Overshot it, but Sean got the rebound. JJ just got fouled. He's shooting. Fouls on number 30, Caleb Cease. His second. is able to get both of those. That was a big boy against a big boy, and I think uh, Dylan came out on top there, even though the bucket did go in. I don't think uh, Carson Matthew was expecting to bounce off of him like that. JJ. <laughs> Three point, and it's good. By Connor Danford. Rating her in, passes it off. Cameron had a good tip there. Got the foul with the reach in there. <laughs> Caleb Cease with the poke. JJ 
drive. Almost got his own rebound, too. It's close, <laughs> yes. Knocked it out of bounds. Steal by number 33, Sean Richard. Gets it up the court to JJ for two. So you're getting pretty good at this. <laughs> Taylor over to Cease, back to Taylor. On to Danford. Oh, blocked by Kindig. Almost got it stolen though as he went to take off. And up for two. Dylan for three. And it's good. He was wide open out there. He was. I think it's the most threes I've seen him take. <laughs> Taylor up and off, off the rim there. Down to Redinger. Dish it to Michael. Right into Dylan. Dylan with a nice little fake to get uh, Matthew up in the air. And we got timeout, OD. It's a full timeout. We're gonna go ahead and take uh, one commercial break here. And we will be back in about 30 seconds. RTC Fiber Communications knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact RTC Fiber Communications. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. And we're back. Timeout by Oregon Davis. Three minutes and 57 seconds left. Argus is up 40 to 23. Now, Carly, here's a little test for you. How much is Argus up by? Real quick, real quick. Don't put me on the spot. Real quick. No, don't, 17. Put, me, don't put me on the spot. Foul by Sean. Looks like Argus is playing a pretty tight man to man, trying to trap him there. Cameron up for three off the rim. Michael down the court and lost it with the foul. Shooting two. First one off the rim. Let's 
Second one was good. Oh, good recovery there. Tried just a little too hard. Got his own rebound, went up, foul. Fouls on number 41, Dylan Kindig. That was Lane Fisher that uh, actually put the ball up a little too hard and then was able to get his own rebound. Now he's at the line getting ready to shoot two. Second one is up and rolls off. Can dig up and off the rim. OD tried to recover, but stepped out of, out of bounds as he grabbed the ball. It was a high throw into Kindig, trying to get him up in the air and go right into the bucket. OD followed him while he was up in the air. to Morris, Kendig. Richards in for the drive, and he's got it with the foul. Shot is good. OD bringing it down the court. Cameron for three and it's good. Dylan answers back with another three. I thought for sure he was going to wait too long. <laughs> he thought about it, that's for sure. Taylor for another three, but off the rim. That was almost, looked like it was almost gonna be a pretty nasty dog pile going <laughs> into there. <laughs> the way that they, everybody's jumping after that ball. And they were all over it. Throw into Matthew with the old sky hook shot. Good for two. Ball's loose. Matthew got the loose ball. Loose again. Up for two. 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Argus is up 47 to 31. Don't worry, I won't ask. Drive 
guys for two. Off the back of the rim. Oh, went the bounce, bounced it too Osborne high and lost the, the ball. Steal. Foul on Osborne as he's trying to get the loose ball back. It's his first. Wouldn't surprise me none if you don't start seeing some of the uh, bench players to start going in on the fourth quarter, just so that way the, uh, the starters can have a break for uh, by county next week. Oh, that was, close. that was a three point shot that was missed. Matthew was able to recover, tried to go up for a shot and just a little too late. We're going to go ahead and take a 30 second break here. We'll be back here shortly. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service for their clients, presently and for the future. From estate planning and trust to adoption and family law to appeals, probate, and more. Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins has the knowledge and experience to serve you now and in the future. See a full list of services online at petersonwagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications knows the internet is evolving taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact RTC Fiber Communications. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. And we're back during a little commercial break. Uh, they had and who what what club was it for? Do you know? Old Gold, I believe. Old Gold was doing a 50-50 drawing. What was it? They won a hundred bucks. Yeah, something around there. We got a block, or it was a push. It's a push on Lane Fisher. Teddy Redinger is going to be shooting two. One. Ethan, Ethan Hewitt. I think that's how we decided we were going to pronounce it. Ethan Hewitt. He's come in for Oregon Davis. Matthews came out to take a little bit of a break. Davis just trying to get through the defense there to get an inside shot. And finally just kind of took one. Eli Osborne for three. Two. 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 It's close. He was stepping on the line. Lane Fisher for two. That's kind of surprising. Little guy against a tall guy and still able to get it in. Yeah. 
Ball stripped away by Fisher. Oh, nice round to back. He's going, oh, then they threw it. I, th I thought for sure he's going to go up against Kindig again. Tried to dish it to the other block. And... It's too low. We got, that's Jake, correct? Jake Stoltz in Luke. for Argus. Luke oh, that Stoltz. was Luke? Correct. It's his younger brother. No, oh, I thought Osborne was going to try another three there. Kindig called for the travel. They're having a pretty good round of keep away there. Taylor in for two. It's a nice pass in the lane. OD down by 14. Just over five minutes left in the game. Off the back of the rim. Shot by number 22 is long. Kendig with the rebound. Sean Richards coming down. Sean trying to go up. Lost the ball on his way up. Matthew coming back in. Fisher in for two with the old fadeaway. Redinger calling for a timeout because he didn't have anybody to pass to. <laughs> that was close to a five second call. Yes, it was. You can tell he stepped across there and saw that he had nobody there. Had to quickly react. Again, we'll be back here again tomorrow for the uh, girls varsity game against Pioneer. We'll have all the technical difficulties figured out by then. Figure it's been two years since I've done this. Not too bad for that much time off. Argus has their starters back in. They're able to get it inbounded, but. Oh, JJ up for the layup, just a little soft. Taylor for the fadeaway, hits the back of the rim. Oh yeah. 
Big foul as he's going up. I just wish one of those guys, when they're, when they're getting that breakaway like that, would just go ahead and take it down there and slam it in. <laughs> that was number 22's fifth foul for Oregon Davis. Fifth foul for Connor Danford. So that means Hewitt come back in. Not sure if that was a try to get a pass. Yeah, I don't know whether to classify that as a steal or what exactly that it was. It was kind of just given to him right in the old gut. <laughs> but we're back at the other end, so it worked. Foul going up. Should be two shots. Oh, no, they're saying it was on the ground. It's on number 30, I believe. It's his third foul. Number, number 30, Caleb Cease, a.k.a. Stanley. That's what they nicknamed him, Stanley. Huh. Fisher with the fast break there. Over to Cease and in. He moved that up the floor pretty quick right after Yes, that, that was. Goal. Two passes and in the bucket. Oh, they fed it in the post, but it got knocked out. Davis has not given up. Oh, that's way short. Fisher up for three and it was way short. Fouled for Taylor fouled. JJ. JJ will be going up for two. Taylor second. I had to think about what I was saying there because I almost called him Dalton. <laughs> That's his cousin, they look alike. It's just Dalton's got a foot, foot and a half on him. <laughs> a nice behind the back pass there. Fifty-seven seconds left in the game. I would imagine here it'll probably be fifty seconds worth of uh, keep away. And or free throw shooting if they start fouling. Oh, 
Richards tried for a three. There we go. There's the foul. Hewitt, Hewitt with the block. JJ right with the rebound. Up. 30 seconds left here. Sees bringing it down into Fisher. All the way over to Taylor for three. Off the back of the rim. Sean Richards with the recovery. Michael Richards. The old Oregon Davis trap. Almost got the ball away from him. And we got a foul. I think that's going to be on Fisher's. Yep, Lane Fisher. You got the names more memorized than I do. I'm starting to figure out how Andy does this and how Dylan does this for the girls. <laughs> First one's, First one's, good. one's good. Eight seconds left. Taylor up for three, no good. So that is the end of the game. Argus comes away victorious with a score of 58 to 39. And uh, we probably won't be hanging around for the stats tonight. Um, but we will be back here again tomorrow. Yeah.